It's Brad Hohenstein with Porosity Solutions. Uh, I want to show you uh, the latest uh, Townsend Engineering uh, uh, leak tester. What we've got here, we're going to test engine blocks. This one's built to test engine blocks. We, we can build a, build a leak test uh, system for any type of casting. Uh, let's take a look at the screen here real quick, and then we'll show you the test. Um, this, this is set up to test a small block Chevy, big block Chevy, and an LS block Chevrolet. Um, so, so when you get a casting, of course, you don't want to build the casting or build the engine just to, to, to find out that your casting leaks. So after machining, uh, you can put, put it on the test stand, and in five minutes, you got your results. So but let, let's run through a test here. So this has all, all kinds of safety features on it. So there's light curtains on each side. You have to use both fingers to hold down until it clamps. If somebody was to put their hand through the side there, the machine would automatically stop. But we're going to hold down here until it clamps on the top. Okay, and it shows up here, part clamped on the screen. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal the freeze plug holes. Okay. Okay, so we got the freeze plugs on the right side of the block sealed. We'll do the left side. And we're sealed, ready for test. Okay, we've got a green start button up here. We're going to hit that to start the test. And the machine itself will stabilize. It takes about uh, 15 seconds to stabilize. And uh, the pressure inside the block It's going to test the left side first and then the right. Total cycle time is five minutes. Uh, so we'll go here and let it go ahead and do its test. Okay, so now the, the, left, uh, the, the left side has, uh, has tested and it shows a leak rate of 14.9. Uh, and it's rejecting that because that's a, that's above the uh, specification, but it, it's below the uh, impreg specification. So this part can be sent out for impregnation to be sealed, so it can tell you that or tell you if it's good to go ahead and test. So right now it's going to run the right side of the test, and we'll wait just a few seconds and let that happen. Okay, so now it's finished the uh, right side of the of the block and it had a zero leak rate on the light right side and we get an accept so we know that this block has some leakage on the on the left side but for this particular customer it's below their, their uh, specification for impreg so this can get out sent out to impreg we can set that number whatever your uh, specific uh, requirements are your specifications uh, also on the panel uh, you can, without having to run through the whole test, we could we could push to test the left side only if we just wanted to test the left side or the right side only while it's clamped up. <coughs> so this is pretty slick machine and uh, uh, a heck of a lot better than screwing on, in all the freeze plugs and, and putting the bolts in to seal off your block and air testing it in, in water or, or using soap spray. Uh, like I said, about a five minute test and you know if your, your part's good or bad. So um, now we're going to hit uh, cycle stop. I'm going to remove the freeze plugs. You can put it on pause while I do it. Okay, so the uh, freeze plugs have been removed. We can now shut all the, the block back out. And it's ready for the lift to take the block out and add another block. 